Hi everyone. Oh my gosh, it's kind of blown up. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. I decided, so happy full moon in Taurus. I decided to um, do something a little different and uh, take the advice of Taurus and just come on live here on my Yes to the Yang Instagram account um, because I just felt like it would be kind of cool if I pulled the cards live so you actually saw the whole process and how I personally do tarot um, as a psychic and a medium. Um, with this full moon in Taurus, it's really exciting because, oh my God, the shine is like crazy. Hold on, let me see if I can, is that even better? Hopefully that's better. Anyway, um, I guess that will do for now. Um, so I woke up and I felt like there was just a lot of different energy that was going on. Um, from yesterday into today and yesterday of course was November 11th which is like this huge special day in numerology and spirituality and astrology because 11 11 is this like double number where you can really have access to manifest anything and everything that you want um with ease and it's rapid and it's fast um I know for me that there was a lot of old beliefs that were coming up that really kind of challenged where, like, what was hold, like, it just really challenged me. Um, normally on the 10th, I woke up and I was super like, da -da 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 -da, and I was like, so aligned, and I was so in flow, and it felt so easy, and it felt so great. And then yesterday I woke up and it was like a lot of old pains and traumas were coming up. And I think the one important thing that I wanted to remind you is that if that happens to you, just be the gentle observer of it. Being, I am a huge advocate about being positive and being able to like focus most of your attention on positivity and what you do want versus what you don't want. However, things are going to come up that make you feel bad. That is just the nature of being a human this lifetime. So if that's the case, then it's really super important to make sure to honor those feelings and process those feelings and feel those feelings so that you can actually like move through those feelings and get to the other side where you've learned the lesson, where these limiting beliefs don't hold you back anymore and where you can really like then truly move the fuck on, which is kind of, again, what this whole full moon in Taurus is about. So like a lot of it does like Taurus is like an earth sign. It does focus on like the material things in life. So financial abundance is definitely here. And if you've been working really hard, this is definitely a week where you can reap those financial abundance rewards. So getting, asking for that raise, getting more money, getting some extra windfalls, those are the things that can definitely happen with this full moon. Um, but I thought it would be fun to just come on and actually pull the cards live to give you any extra guidance that you might need in order to move through tonight's full moon and like really move forward um, for the rest of the month to take advantage of this amazing financial like juju and energy um, so you have plenty of money for Christmas and plenty of money to set yourself forward for 2020. So let's just see. I'm feeling the Archangel Power deck. So I'm just going to pull uh, like three cards, three to four cards from this deck. And then we, I'll let you know what the guidance is. So uh, if you have, or this is the first time that you've visited my channel or my website or my page. Uh, hi, I'm Alicia Ying. I'm a success coach and psychic and professional actress at yes to the yang.com where success always starts by saying yes to you. And it is my mission to help you discover the truth and beauty of who you really are, which is a powerful, amazing, perfect, divine spiritual being. And you have gifts that the universe uh, wants you to use in order to spread love and light and share magic and spread magic in the world and for you to live happily ever after. That is the whole point of your life here is to learn how to live happily ever after. So if you have been, you know, 
wishing, hoping, wanting that your life to be like a Disney movie, it can be. And I'm here to help you figure out how to do that. Um, so if you are interested in learning more about it, definitely, uh, follow me here on Instagram. Um, and then you can also go and sign up for my freebies on my website. And the link for that is in my bio, the thing that I am really excited about launching right now. And what I'm offering is a manifesting mastermind intensive and what this is it's it's an intensive it's gonna be 45 days with you and me and it is to help you manifest the man the money and the million dollar empire whatever that is for you like your ideal life right where miracles are showered upon you every single day and if you definitely want that for 2020 like taking the next 45 days to let go of all these beliefs like the full moon tonight and Taurus and to really set up that strong foundation of focusing your attention on what is it that you really want? What is it that you really want to manifest? What is it that would genuinely make you feel like you were head over heels in love in all areas of your life, where you were abundant in all areas of your life, where you were an overflow of happiness in every area of your life? What would that look like? And then we, in that, in this intensive, I will teach you and show you and help you get into that flow so that you can get and manifest it all quickly and easily and with fun because it's always supposed to be about fun. Hi girl. Um, I just was talking about my manifesting mastermind intensive. Oh, and so it's really funny. Um, I'll talk about it a little bit more, but, um, but it was funny because I had this whole download on the 10th on exactly how I wanted to do like an 11, 11 activation, um, an 11, 11 activation, uh, meditation and like activating your soul to be able to manifest all of the things that you want. And then for some reason on the 11th, like it just was not aligned and it didn't feel right. But what's interesting is what I'm thinking, what's feeling right is I do want to help you manifest everything that you want before, like at least set up that huge foundation. So you're starting to see the fruits of your labor for the rest of 2019. And so you can step into 2020 being like, fuck yeah, I'm a fucking boss. I'm a manifesting queen. I know I am getting, and like you see, like I'm getting this, 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 and this, and it's all lined up. Um, then what I'm going to do and I'll probably, I don't know, get a sales page or something up at some point. But, um, but what I want to do for this intensive is part of the intensive, if you choose to work with me for the last 45 days of 2019, is to uh, do a... I'm going to have this be included as part of the package, but you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one live session with me where I will actually activate your specific soul for what you need to manifest in order to have you step into your power right the fuck now so that you can manifest everything anyway, and then give you the workbook. Okay. So what I'm going to do today right now, if that, and if that sounds great, then definitely hit me up on the DM. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, since like hooray happy full moon in Taurus is to pull cards live just so you can kind of see what that's like if you've never had a reading with me before obviously hi little miss Krista um obviously you have and then I'll just we'll just see what the guidance is and then if you want to stay on live I can pull an extra card for you and see what the angels have to say but I am using my archangel card deck um and one of the biggest messages already, I can just feel it coming in, is just to trust the process and to just honor yourself and give yourself the love that you need. And I think that's a big thing. I think a lot of the times when we're manifesting, when we're trying to make things work, when we're trying to fucking hustle, it's this all this outward action. And we end up depleting ourselves because we're like, go, 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 go. And it's probably what I did to myself. And it's like, at a certain point, you do need to honor and love yourself. Give yourself that love. Um, nourish yourself. Take the time to do what your body needs you to do. So if that's eating certain foods, like my taste buds have changed a lot. Um, like yesterday, all I wanted was protein. Like I couldn't get enough protein to save my life. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Um, 
and today I just don't feel like eating anything except for water. So it's just honoring your body. If you need to take a nap, take a nap. If you need to cry for 10 hours, cry for 10 hours. Um, if you need to just journal it out or to just hug yourself or remind yourself, it's just like, again, it's just really, really paying attention to what you really need. And, um, and it's okay if you feel, if you're struggling, if it feels hard, if it feels like, you know, you're never going to get out of this cycle, or if it feels like you've been nullified to the point of no return, it's okay to feel the way that you feel. And it's okay if you don't feel positive 100% of the time. But what is important is that you make sure to take that time to integrate that lesson and to honor yourself, to trust the process, and then take just the next step. The universe will always guide you, the universe will always lead you, the universe will always give you messages on what you want need to do in order to move forward. For example, I had the idea, right? Universe was like, oh, you should go live on Instagram, like on your yes to the yang one, which obviously I don't have as many followers on this one as my normal one. Um, and then I was like, no, I think I'm going to go live on Facebook. And I was like sitting there and I was like, I was going to go live on my Facebook page. And then it just did not feel right. So I was like, fuck this. Why? Like, let's not doubt my intuition and doubt the universe and just go live on this and it's fine. So, um, so then you can just honor and go, you know what? I can drop the second guessing. I can trust myself more. And maybe that's a lesson or a message that you've been hearing a lot is that you just need to trust yourself more. You don't need to have 10,000 people tell you what to do or validate you or, you know, your ideas. If it's an idea that got into your head and it excites you, then that's an idea from the divine. That means that the universe loves you. That means the universe is validating you. That means that the universe is supporting you and wanting you to do that amazing action that's going to get you what you want. Does that make any sense? Okay, I'll pull cards now. All right, <sighs> let's just breathe together. Take a deep breath in and exhale. <sighs> Take a deep breath in and exhale. <sighs> and Take one last deep breath in and exhale. <sighs> this is just to ground us. So now I call upon God, angels, universe, spirit guides, ascended masters, ancestors. Please deliver us clear and loving guidance on this delicious, glorious, magical time of this 1111 and full moon in Taurus. Please let us know anything and everything that we need to know in order to move forward on the next step of our journey towards the abundance and ascension on every level of our lives. We are ready to ascend. We are ready to step into our power. We are ready to own our birthright. And our birthright is to be happy, to live freely, to have abundance and wealth, to enjoy life, to drop the struggle, to not have to hustle, but to simply allow ourselves to receive the abundance that is ours by our birthright because we are a creation of the Most High. We are made of stardust. We have magic within us and we are ready to release it and access it now and to use our magical powers for good. Help us step into alignment Help us get onto the fastest path from where we are to where we want to go. Help us to align with everything that aligns with our long-term goals. And help us lovingly release what is no longer aligned with those long-term goals. Help us to hear our souls better, to hear our intuition better, to trust ourselves more, and to trust our process and to trust our journey. We are all on our separate journey. 
and we do not need to compare our journey to any other person's journey anymore. We do our best every day. We ascend every day. We grow every day. And we are here and open and ready to receive. We are willing to do our part. And we have faith that you are working magical miracles behind the wings for us. We are worthy, we are worthy, we are worthy. And we finally realize, understand, and believe that we are enough. We are enough as we are. Flaws and all, we are enough to receive the bounty that we so desperately desire. We now call upon the man or woman, the money, the million dollar empire, whatever that means for each of us, and the miracles. We now invite miracles to shower down upon us every damn day. And we are so grateful and appreciative for every single one. We are ready to rise. We are ready to level up. And we are ready to live our hashtag best life slash hashtag dream life. It starts now. And we are so grateful for your guidance. Amen. Okay, so that was a way longer uh, meditation than I thought, but hey, that felt really good. I don't know. Did that feel good for you? That felt really good for me. I'm feeling activated. All right. <laughs> so let's pull some cards for some guidance for this full moon in Taurus. There are cards that are upside down. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So what do we need to know? So what do we need to know in order to step into alignment and manifest the man, the money, and the million dollar empire and have miracles shower upon us every single day? Let's see what the archangels have to say. Okay, pulling one card. Two cards, three cards, okay. All right, so what I like to do is I like to have a three card spread plus like an overall card. So usually four cards. This is just the way that I like to do it. And then what happens is now that my channel is open, oh my gosh, and please surround us in a bubble of pink and protect, white protective light so that nothing can enter except for love and above. And anything negative is just going to simply bounce off with love and light. Okay, let's just protect her. Let's just shield ourselves for a second. Um, so I like to do it this way because what, like these cards are just tools for me to access certain guidance. Um, but obviously once my channel is open, the downloads will just come. So I just like to do three. I need some water. Okay. Who's ready? Who's ready to hear what the archangels have to say? Okay. So the first card. So again, it's like, what do we need? What did I, I was just saying? What do we need to know? in order to manifest the man, the money, and the million dollar empire and have miracles showered upon us every single damn day. And then pull the cards. Okay, so the first guidance is, interesting, it's the four of Michael. So this card means insight that comes from quiet meditation. The need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Oh my God. Okay, so that's definitely very in indicative for me. I have been working so effing hard and I have not been getting as much sleep as I personally need. And so therefore, I definitely need to 
seek relief from stress. And I want to make a note about something just because something is stress, like just because when it says seek time away from stress, that doesn't mean stop working. And I think this is one of the big things that you can release. We can all release during this full moon, which is it's not about work. It's not work that creates stress. It's doing activities that don't light you up, that don't align with your goals. That's what causes stress. That's what causes tiredness. That's what causes fatigue. And that's what causes us to get drained. Does that make sense? So it's not work. We love work. And when I'm in the zone and I'm doing something that I love, like for example, when um, I'm on a TV show set and I'm acting in a show that I love and like everyone around me is amazing. Like I can stay up like all day and have a full 18 hour day, like on set being on. And yes, I'm exhausted afterwards, but I had the time of my life and it was so worth it. And I feel really great. Right. When I am doing like, I don't know when I get really stressed out with like sometimes listing clothes for my reselling business or whatever, I can get into a rut where it starts to drain me because it's not creative because I'm, it's not aligned for me at the moment because I actually wasn't taking photos of items that I truly enjoyed. And so therefore it was draining my energy and making me more stressed out because it wasn't aligning with my long-term goals. The reselling is supposed to be fun. So I had to go back and be like, okay, I just need to choose items that yes, obviously make me a profit, but also may help. Like I want to do it in a way that feels fun for me. Right. And once I click back into being in fun mode, into being like what makes my heart sing mode, what happens? Sale after sale after sale after sale, right? And it was interesting. It was like, I think I'm probably going to do a YouTube video on like a what sold video. Um, But like this last two days, this past weekend, I made over $600 in sales in two days, right? And it wasn't because I had any, okay, so you know me, I can tell you the practical actions that it would take in order to, um, make that $600 in two days, but it was honestly because I got into alignment with my goals and I got into alignment and into the, like the energetic vibration of an abundance of money. Does that make sense? So four of Michael, um, it's about stopping the activities that are draining you, whatever they are, and like take that time to like reduce the stress and get some sleep. So one of the things that you can do is if you look at this card, there are four different lanterns. So I'm going to give you a second and you can just choose which one does your eye gravitate towards the most, the yellow, the blue, the purple, or the red. And I'll tell you why in a second, but I'm going to make you choose first. So which one, which lantern are you gravitating towards the most? The red, the purple, the blue, or the yellow? So I am gravitating the most towards the yellow and I'll tell you what that means. And Krista says blue. Okay, cool. Interesting. So this is why. Woohoo. Okay. We like to sing here at Yes to the Yang. Okay. (laughs) All right. For Michael in general, it's time to take a break. The situation you find yourself in will not benefit from more action on your part at the moment. Again, small tip to remember. <clears throat> All of the action in the world cannot ever make up for misalignment in energy and vibration. Which means you could work your motherfucking ass off 
for as long as you wanted and it will not get you the money, the man, or the million dollar empire that you want unless you were vibrationally aligned. So hashtag hack slash faster way to get what you, what you want is to, if you want to do hard work, focus on your energetic vibration and then the actions will be less. Um, okay. So anyway, at this point, step back, let it go. It would probably be best to not even think about it for a while. So let's just change the fucking subject. Resist the urge to challenge those who just, wow. Okay. Resist the urge to challenge those who disagree with you. Okay. Noted. Thank you universe. So something, if someone's being like, you know, aggressive or, you know, disagreeing with you, then you need this lighting is crazy. Stop being so much. Should I just change the filter? Oh, that didn't work. Hold on. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. No. I'm just curious if a filter would be better. It's driving me bananas. I'll be honest. And you don't even care anyway. Sorry. Oh, that's really cool. (laughs) Okay, maybe we'll do this for like a hot minute. We'll do this for a hot minute. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's do this for a hot minute. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Do you like that? I kind of like that. Okay, we'll do that. Resist the urge to challenge those who disagree with you. The key to a successful solution is likely to arise from meditation or the unexpected epiphanies that come while on a quiet walk. Are you getting enough sleep? If you've been ill, make sure you get all the time necessary for full recovery. Okay. So the reason why I asked you to pick a color of the thing is because whatever color you're most gravitated towards is the chakra that you most need to heal, which means it's blocked at the moment. So, um, the red one is the root chakra. If you picked red, the purple one is the crown chakra, your third eye whoops. Yeah. Third eye. Your, uh, the blue is for your throat chakra. So you need to speak your truth more. And the yellow is for your solar plexus chakra, which is all about having the courage to stand up and go and do the things that you want to do. So Krista, you're definitely wanting to speak your truth more. That's something that you can focus on this full moon. So this might be something where you can do a ritual to let go of the all of the reasons or limiting beliefs or old stories of why you can't speak your truth and like really let that go. And then for me, I'm definitely going to be focusing on, um, letting go of the old stories of not having the courage to do what I want to do, show up how I want to show up and be my true authentic self. Um, because the fears of what have you, does that make sense? Okay. So that's the first part. Let me know if that helps. Okay. The second card is, ha, huh, the six of Gabriel. You probably can't see the cards as well just because they're all, it's all galactic now. Um, congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project towards scholarships, promotions. It's so funny that this is coming up, especially on a full moon where it's all about completions and reaping the rewards of all the hard work that you've done up till now. Isn't that funny? Okay. We'll read more. I think it's time for the next chapter. I think it's time for the next chapter. I just got giddy, like excited vibes coming on, which means what? It means that this is really good. It means that, Oh, there's a very exciting new chapter coming up. So just enjoy this. And if you don't know what it is hundred percent, that's okay, but you will be led and you will know it's the right path. If it makes your heart sing, does that make sense? So it's okay. This chapter has been complete. We're now moving forward into the new way, which is why you should all join my manifesting mastermind intensive. And uh, okay. See, wonderful ideas popping into my head. Um, Okay, so I should probably read what that says. 
area. Wow, there's a really strong wind happening over here. The winds of change. The winds of change. Okay. Five of Gabriel. You have what it takes. Nope. The six of Gabriel. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde. Still in effect. Okay. Congratulations. You've done a brilliant job. Your work, your hard work has paid off and those around you are highly impressed. Expect awards, promotions, or other forms of public recognition for your efforts. Hooray. Enjoy this time of positive feedback, but don't rest on your laurels too long. There are other great works ahead of you. And I think that's why I'm so gung ho about doing this mass, this manifesting mastermind for the last 45 days of 2019, because I know for myself, there are definitely great works and projects and things that I'm supposed to be doing even during the rest of the year, during quarter four, when we have holidays and all this stuff, great projects, great impact, great things can be had and done and achieved now. You can have what you want now. Okay. This card also indicates that it's time to make choices that benefit you personally rather than ones that are self-sacrificing. What the fuck? Do you see how aligned these cards are after that whole fucking like channeled message that I just did for the past card? It's okay to take care of you. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so if the message hasn't been more clear up to this point, it is okay to take care of you. Make choices that benefit you personally rather than ones that are self-sacrificing. Okay, if there's any message that you even take away from this, and I haven't even done the other cards yet, please, 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 for this full moon in Taurus, just know it is okay to take care of you, and it is time for you to make choices that benefit you personally. Okay, so if you are on live, drop below, tell me what is one choice that you can make today that is going to benefit you personally. I am personally going to go to Chinatown and buy myself a wavy cat arm because that would benefit me the most. Um, and I want to put it in my house to call in more money and more miracles and more of the things that I want. Hi, how are you? I'm just doing a live tarot card reading for um, the full moon in Taurus. Um, okay, cool. So card number three is... I don't know. I can't pull these cards any better. Okay, it is the Ace of Ariel. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am so over the moon about this card. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, universe. Thank you, Archangel. Thank you, God. Okay, it is your lucky day. New resources of money, time, and support are here. A change in job or promotion. I can't even I can't even do this better. Like, so okay, like I said, Taurus is a sign of the earthly things. Now, obviously it's also important to note, though, to not be too focused on just the material things. It is also to remember that we are here to experience the the, the physical material things of this universe, um, but to really get all those manifested things, it is about aligning with who you really are and like your spiritual journey, right? So you can manifest the man, the money, and the million dollar empire and have miracles shower down upon you because clearly that's what the cards say um, for this full moon, especially for this month. So take advantage of it. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. This makes me so happy. Okay. So here's what it says. Ace of Ariel. It's your lucky day. It's your lucky day. Hooray. Money, time, or other new resources flow your way. Your planned new what? Oh, your planned new business or career choice will be very successful and your ability to manifest your dreams is extremely powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may meet someone soon who can open doors for you. How exciting is this? Okay, laying down long-term financial plans is also very wise at this time. 
Land or home purchases are very possible right now, and additional meetings is a very lucrative idea, a change in job or promotion, a helping hand, bright prospects. So what I'm getting from this card is that, yes, you're going to be bestowed with a lot, like with a huge windfall of great resources that are going to help you achieve your long-term goal. Um, so just allow yourself to receive them because uh, they can come from any which way. You don't have to worry about where it comes from. Again, you release the how. You just oh, oh, just decide that you're going to receive them and just let them come. Um, I do want to take note about the whole laying down long-term financial plans. Um, that is something that I think would be really good for you and everybody to do, um, especially at this time, especially during like November, December, where we do get wrapped up in like buying presents for people. And like, it seems like we drain, we, our money gets drained, but actually quarter four and this time of year is exactly when you could make more money. So you actually could increase your finances. So take time today to actually think about your long-term financial goal and what that is and like kind of start to chart out how, like the how, but like what you want to do in order to get there. Um, again, in my master manifesting intensive, we will go through all of that with you. So if you want to sign up for that, obviously DM me. Um, but yes, do you see how this all starts to flow? Like before I even do this, like we just have to start getting quiet and getting the answers from meditation so we can hear what's happening. And we've come to um, an ending where we can really start to reap the benefits of what we have sowed so far and then start to choose our next project, our next chapter of our story. And of course, we do these things, we're going to get the abundance and showering blessings and the help from the universe that we want. Isn't that insane? It is such a good spread. Okay, last card. And this is the overall card. So this is the overall message for everything. Oh my gosh, I want to cry. Okay, so it is the King of Raphael. And I don't think we could ask for a better card as far as an overall card. So the King of Raphael. So this looks like Poseidon, right, in the water, but that's um, Archangel Raphael up there who is the Archangel of the heart and emotions and helping us. But he is reminding us that it is safe to trust. This whole idea of trust is coming up, right? Um, we've had a lot of focus on relationships for the past two months and, um, you know, Venus is now going out of balance, which means that we're going to be feeling her energy a lot. And it is really about amplifying, like, you know, how we trust, how we trust people in relationships, how we trust ourselves, increasing the trust in ourselves, um, increasing our trust in money and, um, and then how we are able to present ourselves. Um, but we are the, um, Archangel Raphael and especially with this card is also to remind us that we have the ability to accomplish many things at once. Like this is a very, very auspicious time. And the way to be able to manifest the man, the money and the million dollar empire and the miracles sh showering upon us every single day is to follow your creative passion. The big thing about this is that we, we, yes, you have to do actions to get what you want. Sometimes those actions aren't super duper fun. Like for example, me thrifting and having to like log all of my receipts so that the taxes, you know, will be fine at the end of the year. Um, and like doing my spreadsheets, is it the funnest thing for me to do? No, I'm not really, I don't really enjoy, um, I don't get like a massive, like, you know, joyful singing a Disney song when I do, when I have to do like a routine like that. But is it necessary? Yes. But is it soul sucking? No, because if I had a million dollar empire, you best be sure I would have all of my financials straight so that I'm not getting like, you know, if I ever was to get audited, you know, or, you know, if someone was trying to like steal from my company or, you know what I mean? Like I would want to make sure that everything financially was intact. So of course I want to do that and start implementing those good habits now. Um, but you know, things like 
comparing myself to other people or trying to look for a better strategy or wishing, you know, and like those things drain my energy. So then I just don't do those anymore. Right. I just listen to what my gut wants me to do, what my intuition wants me to do. And going back to creative passions, it's like asking yourself, you get to create your life because you get to make the choice. You get to choose who you want to be with, what you want to do, and how you want to spend your time. Those are all your choices. You feel like you have to go to work or you have to like do this thing for your, you know, your boyfriend, your husband, your parents, whatever. But ultimately you don't have to do anything. It's just what do you want to do and what do you not want to do? And going back to it's okay to make choices that benefit you and to take care of you, right? So that the money can come. So it's like the more that you benefit yourself, take care of yourself, the more money will fall into your lap. So then overall, it's like if you follow your creative passions, when you want to create your life, when I'm talking about creative passions, it's not just talking about the arts. Like I happen to be an actress and I also love to paint and I also love to like, you know, um, repurpose clothes and all that. Yes, that is creative. But what Archangel Raphael means by creative right now is like you being able to take back charge of your life and create your life. In a sense, choose the things that benefit, choose the things that benefit you. That's how you create your life. You create it by deciding what you want and then going after that and doing what you, doing the things that make you, that make your heart sing that's creating, that's imagining, that's taking the time and meditation to decide what is it? What could I create in my mind as far as a visual that would make me really happy, that would make my heart sing? Then once you have that idea, if you get the idea for something or if you dream of something, then it's already been laid out for you. That means that it's a possibility for you to have. And then all you have to do in order to get it is to just take care of you, do what benefits you, do what aligns with you, right? That makes your heart sing and it will all come. That's literally like, if you just follow that advice and you did that every day, you will have what you want by the end of the year. Manifesting doesn't have to take a fuckload of time. It only takes the amount of time that you want it to take. So if you want to speed up the manifesting process, then you can do an intensive, like what I'm holding. You can get activated, you know, because we still have to shift out of this old paradigm that it takes a lot of time, that it's a big struggle and that you have to do a lot of fucking work, right? And the biggest thing, especially going into this Raphael card, is that it is safe to trust, a lot of the times when we get burned, when we've been bullied, when we've been rejected, when we have been abused, it is hard to trust. And especially it's hard to trust ourselves because we got ourselves into that situation. So it's like, how could I have done that? Right? But ultimately you've got the universe inside of you, right? If you're made from stardust, like all these twinkling stars, I'm really loving this filter by the way. (laughs) Um, If you are made of stardust, then you have the magic of the universe in you. The universe will never steer you in the wrong direction. Your your intuition never leads you astray, right? So why not trust that? That's actually you. That's the funny part. Thank you. That's actually you. So even if it's scary. I also was listening to this other, okay. So I was also listening to a recording from a program that I purchased from this girl that I do really love. Um, I purchased a lot of stuff from her, um, like a year ago. And for some reason it came on my iPad or my iPad on my iTunes while I was driving. And I was like, well, I guess I could listen to this again. You know, like that's fine. Just put it on the background. And it was so crazy. Because for some reason, I guess I didn't hear it the millions of times that I've listened to this before, because maybe I just wasn't ready. But she was talking about how, first of all, she was like, I can't tell you how to be successful. She's like, because if you're the 1% within the 1% within the 1%, right? If you are born to be a leader, if you are born to be a light worker, right? A spiritual healer, 
Hi, my love. Oh my gosh. Hi, hi, hi. I'm, I'm on a rampage. Um, if you were born to make a difference in this world, right? She's like, my success, like the way that I do success, it might not work for you. You, if you're a pioneer, if you're a visionary, if you're born to be a leader, right? Then you need to like, you're going to be forging your own path to success, which means that your path to success hasn't been created yet. Think about this for a second. Think about this for a second, because for recovering perfectionists like me, hi, my name's Alicia. I'm a recovering perfectionist. Hi, Alicia. Okay. Hi, welcome. Okay. So today I decided to let go of perfectionism by doing this. Okay, fine. But instead of being like, Okay, so I'm back for my my little pause. Okay, it's eleven eleven right now. Oh my gosh, it's eleven eleven. Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. Okay, the man, the money, the million dollar empire is mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. mine. All right, my point is this. Okay, so I'm listening to this girl. I'm re-listening to this thing, and she's talking about the one percent within the one percent within the one percent. She's like, I can't tell you what's going to be successful for you because ultimately, like, you have to decide what you have to figure out what's successful for you. She's like. I, if I was in your shoes, I wouldn't do what I'm doing because like, if you're the 1% between in the 1% and the 1%, you're a pioneer, you're leading the way you're a visionary, which means you have to do something different, which means your success path, your strategy hasn't been created yet. Cause you haven't created it. Now think about this for a second. Okay. If you haven't created it yet, that means that whatever you're doing right now, even if it feels like a hot mess, even if it feels like you don't know what you're doing, that's the right path. Because ultimately, you have to forge the way and create something new, something different, right? So it does seem a bit like, holy fuck, what's happening? You know, like, I don't have a huge list, or I don't even know what I'm doing, or I'm not sure if I'm going to be a business entrepreneur. Well, I don't know if like, well, yeah, because like, you're not doing what everyone else is doing. You're doing what you need to be doing. And it was such this light bulb moment for me, because as my business has evolved and grown and changed and stuff, like, I'm like, I don't know of anybody, literally anybody in the world who's doing what I'm doing. I don't know anybody. I'm going to be completely honest with you because I started out acting. Okay. Acting has nothing to do with spirituality. And then like, I know that there's people like Jim Carrey who talk about law of attraction and who talk about like, you know, um, like the secret and about like aligning your vibration and all that stuff. And like, you know, his like positive, like going up to the mountain and everything like that. But it's like, I also have this like success coaching and like, I didn't ask for these superpowers. I have them now. So that's really cool. Um, and then all of like these business coaches for spiritual entrepreneurs, I'm not like them either. And then on top of it, I also love like clothes and, you know, reselling things. And that's just a whole other thing, but like no one else is doing all of the things that I'm doing. So in that sense, everything that I'm doing, it's new because it's original and it's my path. Now, does that mean that it's going to be your path? No. But if you're one of the 1% of the 1% of the 1%, you're creating a new way. You are um, for other people to follow, right? So then if you're one of those people, then it's up to you. It's like your mission to get up every day to just trust your intuition, to trust your gut, to follow your guides, to do what you need to do in order to get where you need to go. Does that make any sense? Like it kind of lifts off a lot of the pressure because then you can't compare yourself to someone else because they're not doing what you're doing. They don't have the message that the universe needs you to deliver. You're your own inspiration, right? And I saw this other meme. I need to post it. But it was like one day, like the story that you're going through right now, like one day your story of going through all of your hardships is going to inspire someone else to be able to get through theirs. And I was like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense, right? Like we all have our own individual um, stories and traumas and like crazy wild adventures 
and some of them are funny and great and some of them are really traumatic and hard but that journey is what is going to inspire someone else that experience is what gives you the wisdom to help others right and all you can do is inspire and share and empower inspire empower and uplift others that's all you can do and you have to do it in your way so ultimately there is no perfect way to write copy or to build a business or to make money even you find your own path you find your own way and the only way you do that is by following your creative passions you have to follow what makes your heart sing like quite literally right so like i've always wanted to be a rock star because rock stars don't give two fucks what anyone else thinks like they are defying the norm because the norm is like the cookie cutter like matrixy way and while that might work for some people i know for me like i don't work well working for corporate i work better when i'm my own boss when i can you know work when I want to work, when I can do a live video, when I want to do a live video. And then when I can, I can list items when I want to list items and it just works better for me. And I like that kind of life, right? So it makes my heart sing. So what is the point of all that? The point of all of this is that this full moon, because the spread was about the full moon in Taurus. So this full moon is really asking you to say, okay, Take some time today to go into some quiet meditation, to rest, to de-stress. And again, resting and de-stressing is not just about taking a nap. It is about stopping to, it's about to, it's about you stopping doing, stop doing, so I need some coffee. I haven't had coffee yet because that's how inspired I was. Stop doing the activities that drain your fucking energy. That does not benefit you. It benefits other people. Self-sacrifice. Stop it. Just for today. Stop self-sacrificing and start making choices that benefit you. Right? We have come to this conclusion now where you do not need to sacrifice yourself for others anymore. You can do things that benefit you and also benefit others too. So it's not one or the other. This isn't a duality thing. This is just a, you need to take better care of yourself. When you do that tonight, today, then money and resources and all the wonderful things that you want will flow to you with ease and effortlessness. And to overall moving forward for the rest of the month, just remember that it is safe to trust. It is safe to trust yourself and to trust your guides. Follow your creative passions. That's how you'll know that you're on the right path. And your path is going to be different. That's why for me as a success coach, I always say that success starts by saying yes to you. And at first it was just like, oh, that just sounds really cool. But like throughout my entire coaching career, like that has never rang more true than ever before because it is not about what I think you should do. It, it and never is. You can ask any of my one-on-one -on -one clients. It is never about me. I'm not saying you need to do this. I'm saying what works best for you. What is going to make your heart sing? Just because journaling works for me doesn't mean that journaling is going to work for you. Just because like channeling the guides works for me doesn't mean that channeling the guides is going to work for you. Just because being my own boss and being an entrepreneur works for me, it doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. It might, right? But you have to find what works best for you. Like one of my favorite success stories, which I really need to promote a little bit more, is like one of like um, one of my clients who had been working with me. He, when he came to me and I, granted I've known him for a long time, but like when he came to me, he was like, I really want to manifest the love of my life. And, um, and that was like, he was obsessed with it. And after working with me, he finally like found the love of his life. He just proposed to her. She said yes. And then he wanted to manifest money to like build their life together. And like, after like working with me and shifting some things and again, doing and finding what worked for him, right? Again, it was very different from what works for me personally. And that's what I love about being a, a channel and a medium. I just channel straight guidance from the universe to you. What you do with it is what you will. I will tell you when I, what my personal opinion is, but ultimately that doesn't, it doesn't matter what I think. It matters 
that you get the truth from the universe and then just go fucking do that. Right. Um, but he asked me for money advice and then she got offered, his fiance got offered a six figure promotion. Like best success story ever. Hashtag like dream life. Right. So I want that for all of my clients. That's the thing. But it's really about finding out where you are in your journey and what you need for your next step. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. It doesn't matter like what anyone else is doing. It's what you're doing. So that's why I encourage you, if it calls to you, if it speaks to you, if it feels good in your heart, um, to sign up for my Manifesting Mastermind Intensive because we will go deep into your journey, what you need, and what tools work best for you in order to manifest everything that you want and more, right? To finally start living that happily ever after where you wake up out of bed and you're just like, oh my God, I fucking love my life. I'm so excited because I get to do what I love, my creative passions, what feels really good for me today. I get to work with my dream clients. I get to go to my dream job. I get to wake up to my amazing, loving husband, right? Um, or wife. I get to eat the foods that I want to eat. I get to see the friends that I want to see, right? And I just like, I get to love myself. I get to trust myself and I'm always divinely guided and I always know what to do. And now life is easy and effortless and fun. Who the fuck doesn't want that? And if you don't want that, then obviously you're not on my channel. So that's fine. Um, and that's totally fine. And guess what? I'm not even judging those people either because they're just on a different journey than I am. And that's totally fine. And they'll find someone else. So it's not like, then I, it, there's just a release of like, oh, well, they're doing this and like, that's bad. It's not like that at all. It's just, everyone's just on a different, it's on a different journey. And the people who are on my similar journey will come and resonate with me. And people who are on your similar journey are going to resonate with you. And that's great. You know what I mean? Like, that's all that it is. And if there's times when like the paths part, then the paths part. And we were only like there to help each other with that part of the journey. And then we move forward and that's okay too. You know what I mean? But ultimately, if, if you, when you find your tribe, right, there are going to be people who are your soul tribe where you are on that same journey with them for your whole entire life. Like, yes, be with those people forever and ever and ever. And you support them and they support you. And you just like, you know, spread that love and it comes back to you tenfold. So my final my final thoughts with this whole thing, because obviously I could just channel and riff and hang out with you forever. Um, my final thoughts are this. This is such a magical opportune time. This month is really actually very magical, despite even if you're going through really tough times emotionally. It's just the old stuff breaking down. So I encourage you to take some time, do what's right for you, allow yourself to receive all the money in abundance and follow your creative passions. And if you are so called to come and work with me, DM me, message me, email me, call me, whatever, and we will set that whole shit up because you are so worthy of receiving everything that you want now. And I would love to help you get there. I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me live. And I will see you all in the next live video. Okay. Mm -hmm.